Hello, my name's Andrew Johnstone. I'm an artist and I uh, specialize in a type of art called trompe l'oeil, which means deceive the eye. This is a uh, small bathroom up in Napa and the client wanted me to convert this thing into uh, an Egyptian tomb. I, they met um, or at the end of the honeymoon when they were in Cairo. So I started blocking in the back wall and then picked a point of perspective and encouraged you your eye to move through the wall. This next shot is the everything done with the airbrushing. And there we go. It was a ton of fun. The clients were actually away when I uh, when I did the work, so this was a huge surprise when they got back. The uh, hieroglyphs actually read. I found a hieroglyphics translator. These people work for I think Sun Microsystems. So this stuff like uh, Bill Gates for Pharaoh, and uh, I think in one place it says, if you can read this, you watch too much PBS. So uh, I never told them what it said. Maybe one day somebody will <laughs> decipher it. So that's a flat wall you're looking at right there. I paint it just to encourage your eye to pass through this and, and take you into uh, another space. It makes this fairly small bathroom gigantic feeling. The uh, ceiling is also done with a, an azure sky with uh, 24 karat golded gilt, gilt stars. This was a small job I did for, uh, for a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, who was going through a little bit of medical stuff. I converted her back porch to uh, a vista, instant view. Took the, um, the uh, porch supports into the painting too. Very, um, very fun. A friend of mine moved into a small apartment and said, can you do something with my teeny kitchen? So uh, he had no window, so I painted him one. There we go. This is uh, my... Um, my loft, I, I lived for a number of years in a lot, an artist loft down in Jack London Square, and that was my view. Well, not really. <laughs> You'll see the desk lamp in a minute. There we go. That was uh, how I painted the back wall of the loft. It was a big space. It was somewhere around 35 feet by 12 feet, and uh, had these natural columns in the room. So I gave it this post-quake look. It looked like the earthquake had been and the concrete had busted off and you were looking out into this uh, uh, view of the bay and so there's the city behind I put a I put the uh, the bay in fog one because it looked cool but two because it saved me a ton of time painting all the uh, all the crap below it was easier to to kind of give that foggy look and it worked real real well it's very difficult painting as far as this perspective um, because it was so wide um, and also turned a couple of corners. Um, I tried to encourage you to come straight in, on and in using the uh, fire tower of the bridge as, uh, as the focal point. People like, didn't even notice it, it was so quiet. This was uh, for a um, a job at San Francisco General Hospital. Um, it was for a waiting room for medical patients. They have to wait the longest and their seats are the hardest. So give them a view. I took the windows and such that were already in the room and made that part of the painting. A friend of mine also at the loft, he had a third story loft in a four story room, a uh, four story building and wanted a skylight, which is of course impossible. So I painted him one. I went into the stairwell and sketched out the stairwells to uh, uh, help with the perspective. So there it is from beginning to end. I also made the perspective an orthoscopic project projection, which means it's been made to be viewed from an angle. So when you're looking up at it at 45 degrees, it makes sense. So there's the space. And there it is. All the shadows for the opening as well are all airbrushed onto the ceiling. If you look at the, 
top right you can see this piece of tape there that I left on. Client had a kid, um, 10 year old kid, wanted his room to look like a reef. So uh, they were ready to call the police at this stage. <laughs> but it all worked out. There we go. I had a plan. But uh, they they wanted to go with this Disney look and I, 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 I dissuaded them. I said, you know, this kid's got to be embarrassed by the room in a few more years and we'll be painting it out. This will be a room that will look cool forever. This is bread and butter work. This is a um, sales development, a development for a, uh, a subdivision called the Avenues, and they wanted me to create an avenue for their uh, for their sales office. So that's the painting. It was done on canvas, and then taken up to the site. So there's the canvas on the floor, and there's the opening, and then it was uh, pasted and then trimmed out to fit the opening, and then the wall painted a little darker. I like to paint the wall a little darker, it's called Contre Lumiere, it just makes the painting look brighter. We try and do what we can for uh, non-for-profits, so there is a non-for-profit in Berkeley called Carpentry for Kids, they teach kids who have developmental problems um, or behaviour problems uh, how to communicate through woodshop. You know, they're doing art, they're doing, they're measuring, they're building. So what I wanted to do was um, create this space scene. Uh, that's the background. Here's the foreground. I wanted to make it look like it was torn paper. So I block in where all the paper, I can imagine where the paper's all torn, and then glaze it to give it the curl and the crinkle. And then we can see how it's going. So here we go from the beginning. Here's the first weekend putting the foreground in and there's the uh, the finish it was a it was kind of a boring room and it really dramatically improved the room the guy said that the kids work also improved by osmosis you know they were subjected to a piece of art and they kind of raised their own game. I had a client down in um, Paso Robles wanted me to paint his aircraft hangar. He had this really cool Waco biplane. I did the work on canvas, took it down, 50% painted because uh, it needs to be done, finished in place. So there we go. He was knocked out. <laughs> he was very happy, man. I got this huge wall at Tucker's Ice Cream in Alameda. This is a 25 feet by 20 feet wall and took the perspective of the room into the painting to blur the edge. The bars were there as a seismic retrofit. There was nothing I could do about them, so I just imagined them gone. And there we go. Again, I saw, I sent a client down there and they couldn't find the painting. They walked right past it. <laughs> they just took it for took it for granted that it was real. <laughs>